So this question came up, and I keep on hitting this, this uh, topic from different angles, and that's learning frameworks, learning technology frameworks, whether it be a CSS framework, a JavaScript framework, a PHP framework. What you'll see out there as a developer, as a budding developer, and even as an experienced developer, that you're going to see new frameworks that are coming out all the time. And the temptation and the worry, at least it was for me back in the 90s when I was first experiencing this, when I was first experiencing this myself, back in the 90s, the uh, frameworks came out so fast, it was almost impossible, well, it's not almost, it's totally impossible to be able to keep up and learn all these different frameworks. And in fact, you shouldn't. For the most part, most of these frameworks will just fade away. And the reason they're going to fade away is because most of the time, these frameworks do not offer any significant advantage over what is out there already, most of the time. Once in a while, you have a game changer that comes out, a game changer framework. So for instance, with uh, JavaScript, the game changing framework that I can think of right away is jQuery. This is huge. This is the important one. Now, there's several others out there. There's Angular, there's React, and there's, I'm sure there's, there's many more. Now, I'm not sure how a much of a long-term impact Angular or React will have. They will have their, uh, their little pockets of popularity. I can't say. But right now, Angular, at this point in time, the 2.0 Angular versus the 3.0, apparently is a totally different branch. So I'm not sure how that works. And I've heard from a lot of developers out there who've used Angular, and I have not. I just looked at it. They found that its advantages were meh, marginal. What you find many times when you go to a framework, uh, from framework A to framework B, you, you, you'll be wor you know, working with this framework, you go, wow, look at this new framework over here. And you'll go over and you go, wow, I can do all this cool stuff. And then you realize this new framework is missing things that the old framework could do. So a lot of times, you know, you know, which framework you use, some have pros, they all have pros and cons. It's very rare that you have a, a, something like a jQuery that comes out that really changes the landscape of things. So my advice to you is uh, really learn your base language well, learn advanced coding techniques, advanced practices and so forth. So if, for instance, you're learning JavaScript, learn JavaScript well, understand object-oriented JavaScript was well, actually a prototype types of language, but it's kind of object-oriented. Understand how uh, to write advanced JavaScript in anonymous inner functions, recursion, that kind of stuff. Then you can start poking around at particular frameworks. Now, today in 2016, I would be looking at jQuery for sure. You don't have to learn all of jQuery, just learn the basics of it and understand what jQuery brings to the table so that when you come to a project, you, you'll know, will jQuery help here? Now, I'm not saying you should use jQuery in every project that you, uh, that you go with. Actually, you shouldn't. You should only use a framework. You should only use a technology when it makes sense to use it. Don't look for places to use a particular technology. This is, again, a habit an urge at nerds, like, ah, I want to use jQuery, I got to use jQuery, I got to use Angular, I got to use, Ag no, 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 no. You use these tools, because that's all these are, that's all these frameworks are, they're just tools. You use them when they make sense, when it makes sense to use them. So there you go. Uh, there's so many frameworks, you can't learn them all. You know, pick the dominant one or two maybe in your chosen uh, slice of technology. So if you're in JavaScript, I would definitely learn jQuery. If you're in PHP today, I would learn Laravel and so on and so forth. You know, learn that one or two, the one or two popular dominant frameworks and keep your eye on what's coming up, but don't jump into them like crazy because you're going to find yourself wasting a lot of time as I did. Uh, they will fall away. All right, uh, that's pretty much it.